back to Hola Adventures in Spanish with Senora Lisa. Now that we've gone through the word of the day and discussed our topic for today's class, let's jump right in. Are you ready? Hmm, do you remember? How you feel and where you are, you always use the verb estar. So let's talk about the verb estar. Estar means to be. There is another verb in the Spanish language that means to be, which is ser. But today we're going to focus on estar because remember, we want to start expressing ourselves, talking about how we feel in the Spanish language, of course. So let's go through estar first, and then we'll go through some new vocabulary so all of my super inteligente students out there can start expressing yourselves. All right, let's go. So first we're going to go with estar. Now, we know that estar means to be, and it has seis formas, six forms. Yo estoy, I am, tú estás, you are, él está, he is, ella está, she is, usted está, you are, which is formal. Nosotros estamos, we are. Vosotros estáis, you are, and that's going to be plural, and then we have ellos están, they are, ellas están, they are, and last but not least, ustedes están, which is you are, that's going to be plural and formal as well. So our forms are estoy, estás, está. Estamos, estáis, están. Muy bien, chicos. Excelente. Now, if you recall, we need dos partes, two parts, in order to express ourselves in the Spanish language. The first part is going to be estar. Now, although I went through I am, you are, he is, they are, we are, we're going to only focus on estoy in today's class. I am. Because I want to know how you're doing. You're going to tell me, Señora Lisa, estoy feliz. <gasps> feliz? <laughs> Yes, 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 the word of the day. I want to know how you feel. So, let's go through some vocabulary. Vamos a practicar la pronunciación del vocabulario en español. Let's practice the pronunciation of the vocabulary in Spanish. I am going to give you 14 new words to arm yourselves and to be able to tell me if you're happy, if you're sad, if you're tired, if you're angry. Oh, let's just start. The first word, here we go. Enamorado. Repite, por favor. Enamorado. Excelente. Y clase enamorado significa in love. Woo! <laughs> estoy enamorado or estoy enamorada. If you're a girl, it's going to end in a. For the boys out there, it's going to end in o. Estoy enamorado. I am in love. Estoy enamorada. A girl. I am in love. Let's go to our next one. Repite, por favor. Confundido. Excelente, muy bien. Repite otra vez. Repeat again for me. Confundido. Muy bien con la pronunciación. Great job with your pronunciation. Now, ¿qué significa confundido? Hmm. Yeah, I just made the gesture. Confundido significa confused. Estoy confundido. I am confused. Hmm. And if you're a girl, what would it be? Do you remember? <gasps> Yeah, you're right. Say it again, louder, louder. Muy bien, estoy confundida. Excelente, estoy confundida. Excelente. So every time we have one that ends in O, for the males or boys, it'll end in O, and for the females or girls, we're gonna change that O to an ah, ah, ah. You got it? O for boys, ah for girls. O chico, ah chica. All right, let's keep going. The next one is, <gasps> did I scare you? What about you? <gasps> yeah, asustado. That's our word, scared, frightened. Estoy asustado. Repite, por favor, asustado. 
Excelente, muy bien. And for our girls, asustada. Muy bien, excelente. The next one is going to be contento. Contento significa content, satisfied, happy, content. Repite, por favor. Contento. Excelente, chicos. Let's keep going. Our next one is joyful, joyful. Yeah, joyful in English, pero en español, alegre. Repite, por favor, alegre. Woo, joyful. Muy bien. Our next one, repite, por favor, feliz. Feliz significa happy. <gasps> La palabra del día. Oh, yeah, you know it's coming. El baile especial. Let's do our special dance. Estoy feliz. I am happy. Yeah, you got it. All right, let's keep going. Our next vocabulary term is enojado. Repeat it, por favor. Enojado. Excelente. Enojado. <clears throat> Enojado significa angry. Muy bien. Let's go to our next one. Repeat it, por favor. Triste. Sad. Triste significa sad. Excelente. Our next one is enfermo. Enfermo. Repeat it. Enfermo. Muy bien. Enfermo significa sick. Oh, yeah. Sick. The next one is oh, cansado. Repeat it. Cansado. Cansado significa tired. Let's go through three more. The next one, avergonzado. Oh, whoa. Did I just almost fall? I feel so embarrassed. Avergonzado significa embarrassed. Two more to go. The next one is, woohoo, hurra, emocionado. Emocionado significa excited. Emocionado. Excelente. And what would it be for the girls? Yeah, emocionada. Excelente. And our last new vocabulary word is, drum roll please. Da -da -da -da. Nervioso. Is somebody coming? Nervioso. Nervioso significa nervous. Repeat it, por favor. Nervioso. Or for the girls, what would it be? Muy bien. Nerviosa. Now that we've gone through all of our vocabulary terms, when Hola Adventures in Spanish with Señora Lisa returns, we're going to put these words into use. I will see you all soon. Hasta pronto.